Good morning from the heart, August 19th, blinded by prejudice. John 5, 38 says, but you do not have his word abiding in you because whom he sends him, you do not believe. As at different times during Christ's work, divinity flashed through humanity and he stood transfigured before the people. The Jewish leaders were deeply impressed but as they talked it over with one another, their unbelief strengthened and the evidence that should have convinced them was rejected. The strongest evidence was no evidence to them. While the weakest, most superficial arguments, if against the truth which the Savior brought, were sound in their estimation, they had started upon a path leading to eternal ruin. Christ saw that the Jewish teachers misinterpreted the word of God and he urged upon them a more diligent study of its precepts. In him were fast being fulfilled the types and shadows of the Jewish economy. If they searched the scriptures as they should, they would find that he claimed nothing which was not rightfully his. Had the Jews searched God's word as they should, they would have seen that Jesus of Nazareth is the Messiah. But they searched with proud, selfish ambition as a guide and they found a Messiah of their own imagination. Therefore, when the Savior came, a humble man, bringing to naught by his teaching long-established theories and traditions, presenting truth entirely opposite to their practices, they said, who is this invader that dares to set aside our authority? Christ did not come as they had expected. Therefore, they refused to receive him and called him a deceiver and an imposter. Instead of listening to him that they might learn the truth, they listened with evil intent, that they might find something over which to cavil. And when once they had set their feet in the path of the great leader in rebellion, it was an easy matter for Satan to strengthen them in opposition. Christ's wonderful works, which God meant to be heaven sent evidence to them, Satan caused them to interpret against him. The more marked the way in which God spoke to them by his works of mercy and love, the more confirmed did they become in their resistance. Blinded by prejudice, they refused to acknowledge that Jesus is divine. He was God in human flesh, and he could not but work the works of God. Hope you have a great day today. Live from the heart.